I just wrapped up taking photos of myself looking wistfully out the window, I came to my computer, plugged in my SD card, as usual, and suddenly I realised that the EOS R has a different raw file format. Instead of a CR2, it was a CR3 file. Thought to myself, sweet, new file, must be better. Then went to open it up in my usual editing software, Affinity Photo, and it didn't open. Thought maybe the file was corrupt. So I tried again, still didn't open. We had a problem. We had a problem indeed. For those of you that don't know, the EOS R uh, shoots raw photos, but the file format that the photos are in are .CR3. Before this were .CR2, and pretty much any uh, photo editing software worth their salt uh, could read these. Unfortunately, uh, the one that I used, Affinity Photo, hasn't quite upgraded to the CR3 files. I delved into it deeper. Turns out there's only really two programs that can read the CR3 files. One of which is Adobe Lightroom. Uh, so for all you professionals out there who are willing to spend bucket loads of money on software for no apparent reason, uh, you guys have all got it, so I guess there is a reason now. Personally, I don't use any of the Adobe software. I think it's a bit stingy that they get you to pay uh, every year for pretty much the same software. So at this point in time, market, it is currently 4.30, Wednesday the 16th, 2019. Adobe Lightroom and ca native Canon software, professional photo something, something, uh, are the only two are the only two programs that can read a CR3 file. Uh, so if you're like me and you don't have the Adobe Cloud and you don't wish to purchase the Adobe Cloud, because why would you? I'm going to show you two different ways we can go about doing this. So the first way that we can read these CR3 files is if you uh, download a Canon program called Digital, F Digital Photo Professional 4. Digital Photo Professional 4. Digital Photo Professional 4. Basically, just type this into Google, have a look. Um, it is free, so just download it from the website. Once you've downloaded that and accepted all the terms and conditions and signed away your life and all that, then you can go straight from your SD card that you chucked in from your EOS R, look up the photos, and you can start editing there. Now, I don't know about you, but uh, I was insanely confused about this program. I really want Affinity Photo to hurry up and just be able to read CR3 files. So Affinity Photo, if you're listening, please. That is pretty much the only way that you can edit a .CR3 file without having to pay Adobe the big bucks for Lightroom. However, there is one other alternative that I've found. So even though we can't read the CR3 files, we can convert it to what's called a .dng file. Uh, .dng files, I'm pretty sure, was created by Adobe um, for their Photoshop stuff and for their Illustrator stuff. And basically, it takes the raw file, keeps most of the data in there, but just converts it to a different type of file format so that I guess it's easier for Adobe programs to read it. What we can do is we can use that as a backdoor uh, to get our .CR3 files into a readable format for our photo editing program such as Affinity Photo. So what you're going to do is you're going to jump onto Google, look up DNG Converter or Adobe DNG Converter, hit download, open it up, sign your life away again, agree to the terms and conditions, all that jazz. Once you do that, you're going to open up Adobe Digital Negative Converter and then it is literally a four-step process in order to convert your .CR3 files into .DNG files. Now that we've got the .DNG file, we can actually open that up with our preferred photo editing software and luckily that now can be read by the program and I can go ahead and start editing it. Now, if I had the choice, I'd rather keep it raw because .dng does tend to mess up a few things, um, especially if you're using a third-party third party program to read it instead of the Adobe stuff. Uh, but the .dng file does still contain a whole lot more data than if you were to convert it down to a uh, JPEG, for instance, because a JPEG is like that raw is like that and DNG is like pretty much the same. 
Is that the um, is that the best workaround? That's the best workaround I've found. Uh, if you found a better workaround uh, that doesn't involve uh, the Adobe Creative Suite, uh, because you know we're not all millionaires, uh, let me know. Let me know in the comments down below. How do you get around the .cr3 files? Sweet, we're done. I will see you tomorrow. I guess another video. Here we go. Wait.